okay so in this class today we are going to page number 25 on the page number 25 the chapter name is input and output devices a commonly used input device is the mouse the first device which we saw yesterday is the keyboard now here we are talking about the mouse mouse and keyboard both are input devices we use them to give instruction we use them to give order we use them to give command to computer okay so we give command to computer using these devices which devices the mouse and the keyboard okay so along with it it is a pointing device why do we call it a pointing device why do we call it a pointing device it points out for example if someone is asking you where is the playground so you tell this thing with your finger on that there is a playground if someone is asking who is the good player of soccer or football so you can point out with your finger that that person is a good player so you are pointing with your finger the same thing can be done in the computer but with the help of mouse with the help of mouse it's a pointing devices how mouse doesn't have any finger mouse has a arrow a white arrow on the screen a mouse has that arrow and when you move the mouse that arrow moves okay that arrow moves that arrow can also be called the pointer why do we call it a pointer because it's point out and that pointer is controlled by the mouse so mouse is a pointing device it points out the screen you can select or tell a one thing for example if you see my mouse right now i am moving my mouse up and down near the picture of a whiz okay so you can see it okay i am moving this mouse this arrow so you are seeing this one that i am moving this mouse so i am pointing on this word i am pointing on this word so with the help of my mouse i am doing this thing okay so that's why it is a pointing device the third point of this is this page is saying that the mouse is used to point at words or icons for example if you see my red arrow the arrow which i am right now using if you see why i am using to point out that where i am reading so that if someone miss any word they can just guess or see that from which word we are studying right now we are at this one the mouse is used to point out at words or icons i am just pointing out these words with the help of my mouse okay so where they are pointing on the screen and select them we can select folder we can select pictures we can click on them okay so we can point out the words select the words or select the icons on the screen then the next thing is it enables the word enables means the word enables means allow okay enables means allow us to move the pointer around the screen so mouse give us a permission mouse allow us or enable us to move the pointer around the screen that white arrow the white arrow is a pointer so who gives the permission or who gives the relaxation for moving the pointer on the screen the mouse give the relaxation okay so if i ask you this thing in the class or in the exam or in the paper or in the test or just i am asking verbally that mouse is a output device no it's false mouse is not a output device it's a input device as i told you yesterday that how we can find it out that any device is a input or output just see that this device is giving you something or taking something from you if the device is taking something from you and not giving you anything then it's a input device mouse take a click from you mouse will not show you anything mouse will not print anything mouse will not give you anything but mouse will take click from you and send that click inside the computer yes the monitor monitor is giving you output okay so this is the example of input mouse and the keyboard both are the examples of 
these these are the commonly used commonly means everybody knows about these mouse and keyboard whenever you can ask to everyone you can ask everyone that you use mouse and keyboard in computer everybody will say yes or they are aware of what mouse and what keyboard is okay so they are very much common now we have this one we can select an object or icon we can select an object or icon here object are files picture video folder or icon icon are on the desktop when you click on them the things will start it like you play the icon of the game you play the icon of the browser of chrome so when you click it it will run and there are files there are folders and there are so many things like picture videos okay by double clicking on the left button when you press the left button how by the way let me ask you one thing how many buttons mouse has can anyone tell uh sir uh, three okay can anyone three else? can anyone three. else can tell how many normally how many buttons? two or three sir two or three three okay two or three oh that's great that's great saksha okay umar al fubi that's great okay so very good so normally normal in the normal mouses there are normally two or three buttons there are two or three buttons most commonly the mouse which we found everywhere contains the two buttons okay so the two buttons mouse the one button is on the left the one button is on the right when you press the left button two times on the same thing that thing will be selected or that thing will be start running okay so that thing can be start running for example there is a video when you double click on that video with the left button it will start okay when you click on the icon of a game with the left button two times so it will be started it will be started okay so everybody of you listening me yes sir yes sir that's great yes that's great. yes sir yes sir now 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 we see the first thing the first thing is saying that a commonly used input device is a mouse mouse is a pointing device because it show pointer on the screen and it give us a permission to move the pointer around the screen mouse with the help of mouse we can select anything by double clicking the left mouse button remember in the two button mouse there are there is a left button and there is right button there is a left button and there is a right button okay so along with it we are moving to the next line one thing i want to share here for you that right now we are at the page number 25 but once we finish this this paragraph then we will do the question on the page number 24 and the question on the page number 25 we will do both these questions but first we will cover the mouse and then we will do it okay so we click the right mouse button to choose okay as we know that mouse has two buttons we click the right mouse button now we are not talking about the left button the right mouse button will do what when we click the right mouse button to choose a command from the command menu what is menu when you go to the hotel when you go to the restaurant okay when you go somewhere for the food for the restaurant so they give you the menu that we have these things you can select the things from it so in the same way the mouse will also give you some options some menu how when you press the right click on any file when you move your mouse to some folder to some game and you press the right button once you press the right button once it will show you some menu that menu is a command menu menu why it is a command because in this different commands are written like copy delete and so many other commands okay so when we click the right button to choose a command from the command menu but left button will just select or open or play 
the thing on which you are clicking everybody understand about the left and the right button yes 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 but sir yes sir i want us to say something okay you can if, if anyone has any question if anyone has any question you can just send the question in the chat i am seeing the chat for this one someone asked this question that we didn't do the uh, the question on the page 24 and i gave the answer that we do this question 24 when we finish this mouse topic and we also do the question on the page 25 so right now we are at the page number 25 umar ahmed we are at the page number 25 okay so we see the mouse that mouse is a pointing device keyboard is a pointing device what do you think yes what do you think everybody can answer keyboard is a pointing device yes or no no sir no no sir no 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 oh yes 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 no 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 it is how no. it put no. the no 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 why because the white arrow on the screen the white arrow on the screen points out and keyboard is not a pointing device because it cannot point anything keyboard just used for typing for entering data for entering text it is not a pointing device it's not point out on the screen only the mouse is a pointing device which points out so it's a clear no it's a clear no keyboard is not a pointing device okay someone is saying can we type with the help of keyboard yes it's true can we do click with the help of keyboard no the click is basically done by the mouse if i ask you this thing that we can do click with keyboard it's false it's not possible so now we are moving to the next line when we press and hold the left button when we press and hold the left button over an icon while moving the mouse it is called dragging it is called dragging the mouse okay dragging just simply means moving okay moving anything from one place to another for example you have you move you have to move folder from your desktop from one place to another what do you have to do just move the mouse click the mouse button on the folder and press the click press the click don't release the button okay while pressing the button move the mouse the button is pressed right now and you are moving the mouse okay so this thing will move the icon or the file by dragging it anywhere wherever you are moving your mouse and when you release the left button then your folder or your file will be moved to the new location this is called the dragging dragging means moving moving the icon when you drag the mouse by pressing the click left click when you press the left button left mouse button on the file and you are moving the mouse while pressing the left mouse button it will move the file to the new location and it's up to you that where you are moving the mouse when you release the left button it will put your file there at the new location so in this way you can drag or you can move your file with the help of mouse everybody understand this thing yes sir okay yes sir yes sir okay that's great yes Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay, that's nice. That's good. That's good. Okay. So, uh So this is about the mouse. This is about the mouse. That what mouse is doing. Okay. What mouse is doing? Okay, before going further before going further 
we are moving to the page number 24 everybody now open the page number 24 now we are doing the question on the page number 24 Everybody open the page number 24. Yes, yes, yes we open. Yes, open. Yes, 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 sir. We open. Yes, okay. yes, sir. We open. Yes, sir. We open. Okay, the question on the page number 24 is saying that the question on the page number 24 is saying that what commands do these special keys give to the computer? It means that what type of instruction what type of order these keys will give to computer what does enter do what does spacebar do what does shift do what does backspace do or what type of order these commands give to computer so we have to write it okay so i will write here on the screen and you can just write it on the book with the help of a pencil so i am writing it here on the screen on the screen i am writing that enter key why we use it it's simple the name of the key is saying that enter key is used enter key is used okay let me make it short to enter data into computer okay to enter data into computer so why do we use enter key to enter data into the computer it is the simplest definition of the word key enter key is used to enter data into the computer now oh that's great zatam very good zatam also signed the explanation of this enter key that's great zat okay the second key we have is the space bar as we know very well the name is showing we also discussed this thing in the yesterday's class that space bar is used to give spaces between two words it is used to give or used to insert so let me write it here for you it is used to insert or give i will write the insert spaces between okay let me make it correct between two words okay so this is a definition of space bar the space bar is used to insert a space between two words we can insert so many spaces it's up to you it's up to you and up to us that how many spaces we are inserting but it is used for giving a space Yes, Umar Hani, you are right. It is used to giving space. Very good. Excellent. That's great. So you guys are getting the point. Okay. Someone also sent the definition of inter. Let me see. Uh, okay. Yes, Zia Tamir also sent it. And Yazan Naif also sent it, this one. Very good. Excellent, guys. So now we are moving to the next one. The next button is saying that it's a shift key. What does shift key do? Ah, okay. Now, here it is. So, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Is there anyone who can tell me? I will write the answer in less than 10 seconds. But, I am just asking you. Why we use the shift key? Is there anyone? Let's ask this golden question to you. See who, who is going to answer this one. You can send the answer in the chat. I am seeing that who is going to give answer in the chat okay so let's see anyone wants to give the answer for the shift yes or no or i will write ah okay two students give the answer in the chat that's great okay so now now let let me write it yes okay so the shift key the shift key okay umar hani and ziyad tamir that's great that's good okay so shift key is used to 
type capital letters type capital letters or symbols what are symbols symbols are just designs like let me show you some symbols or the signs symbols are the design or the signs this is a symbol this is a symbol this is a symbol if you see these are symbols i am writing all these things i am just pressing one two three if i press one two three and four but if i press one two three four while pressing the shift it will get i press shift and now i am pressing one it will show exclamation sign now i am pressing two with the shift we got at the rate sign now i am pressing three with the shift i am getting the number sign now also called as a hash sign now i am pressing the four i got the dollar sign or the symbol so in this way the shift is working in this way the shift is working that's great that's great yazan yazan umar al khubi umar hani zayat tamir that's great so the definition is it is used to type capital letters or symbols that's great now we are at the back space it's very easy ah yazan send it okay that's great so who is going to send uh, very nice yazan knife Yazan Badavi sent the right answer that for the backspace and Yazan Naif sent all the symbols. That's great, Yazan. Rakan, okay. We 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 can delete, but the appropriate word is starts from E. Okay. Very good, Umar Hani. That's great. Backspace is basically whenever we are typing and we got some mistake in the word. So when we press it, it will rub or it will delete or the most appropriate word is to erase the last word and give the space for the new word okay that's great you all give the right answer yes yatamir you are right umar hani is right rakan is right yazan badavi is right that's great so a backspace is used to let me write it here used to erase used to erase a typed a text which is typed can be erased with the help of backspace so backspace is used to erase a typed text it is used to erase a typed text okay now now what else we have let me take a picture of this thing everybody should write these things in the page number 24 everybody should write this in the page number 24 i am waiting so that everyone should finished did you guys finished it yes sir yes sir yes sir okay Okay. Yes, sir. I am finished. That's great. That's great. And me. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Oh, Yamin, that's great, Yamin. Okay. Now, now let me tell you one thing, and we will wait for thirty seconds or one minute so that everyone who is doing or writing right now they can write it easily. Okay. there is a one line there is a one sentence or a one line written at the page number 24 the line is saying that the standard keyboard has how many keys 104 keys so if one if someone is saying that keyboard has 25 keys it's false if someone is saying keyboard has 60 keys it's false keyboard has 80 keys it's false keyboard has a normal standard keyboard has 104 keys 104 keys are there on the normal keyboard on the normal keyboard there are 104 keys everybody understand this thing that how many keys on the normal or the standard keyboard yes sir yes, I yes sir understand how many keys yeah 104 keys 104 keys so 104 keys it's 
keys excellent you guys are getting it correct very well done okay so you guys are getting it correct and you done the great job so you understand it okay i took the picture of that page now i am clearing the screen so that i will move to the next page let me move to the next page let me move to the next page on the page next what we have ah this one on the page number 25 on the page number 25 we have one more question what this question is saying yes yusuf you are right and umarhani you are also right so on the page number 25 we have one more question what this question is saying that a question is saying that you have to underline the correct answer you have to underline the correct answer so the first question is saying a image of a computer command or function is an or is a pointer or icon is a pointer or icon image as you know an image of a computer command or a function image means a picture image means a picture oh that's great yazan badavi yazan badavi umar hani zia tamir very good that's great these guys send the right answer let's wait for the others so that everyone will send the answer okay umar ahmed also sent the correct one yazan naif that's great rakan very well done anyone else wants to send the right answer in the message i will take their name that's great so if anyone is typing the correct answer i am waiting for you so that i will take your name that you send the correct answer so the correct answer for this one is the icon image means the picture an image a picture or a image of a computer command or function is an pointer or icon it's a icon umar al khubi you are right you are right okay so let me make it underline a icon okay so what we have else yamin sala you are also right yamin sala umar al khubi rakan yazan naif let me take the all names so that umar ahmed zia tamir umar hani yazan badavi okay the second question is saying that keyboard is an input or output device this is very easy this is very easy everybody should answer this one everybody let me unmute you all everybody should give the answer for this one what do you think it's a 100% answer everybody give the right answer very well done to the whole class because we study right now only two things the keyboard and the mouse both are input very good that's great Well, that's great, and so many students send the answer in the chat also. That's great, but the whole class give the right answer. Very well done to each and every student. The keyboard is an input device because through which we can enter thing or data in the computer. Okay, so I underlined the input one. Okay, now we are moving towards the next one. An example. of a pointing device an example of a pointing device of is a mouse or the button is a mouse or the button we have button okay we have button on mouse and we have button on keyboard so the example of pointing device is what by from which device we can point it out button is not a device see they are saying example of pointing device button is not a device and if the button is not the device then what would be the answer if the button is cancels then what would be the answer very good that's great because button is not a device 
the device is a complete thing that's great so many students and rakan jazan naif umar hani ziyad tamir yamin sala sakshar mohammad uh, ayman okay yazan badawi umar ahmed mohammad uh, no it's uh, sakshar okay all these students send the correct answer and some students send one student send the answer for button so button is the wrong answer so the right answer is the mouse mouse is a pointing device as i told you button is not a device and when the button is cancelled when the button option is cancelled then which option is left only one option and it's a mouse only one option is left and it's a mouse now the question number 4 we will do this question number 4 in this period and the remaining parts of this question we will do in the next period okay so the question number 4 is saying that the alphabet in the alphabet or enter which key is a special key which key is the special the alphabet key or the enter key which one is the special key what do you think the special keys have a special things which key is the special one okay so umar hani ziyad tamir yazan badawi umar ahmed yazan naif all these students send the right answer yamin sala that's great so the correct answer for this one the special key as you know on the page number on the previous page number 24 we see the special key the first key is the enter so enter is the right answer for the part 4 mohammad ayman you are right umar al hubi no umar al hubi you are not right Muhammad Ayman is right. Muhammad Al Rashid is also right. Okay, so enter is the correct answer for the question number four. Here we are stopping the questions of this page. We will continue it in the next period because right now the time of the period is finished. We will meet in the next class, inshallah. So, bye everyone. Have a nice day to everyone. Bye, sir. Bye.